Hey there, mathematicians. Hopefully you guys are ready to do some talking and some describing of some three-dimensional shapes that we are working on in math today. So, boys and girls, we're going to talk about one of those three-dimensional solid shapes today. And we're going to talk about ways to describe it and maybe ways that you can find one of those shapes maybe outside or somewhere in your house. So the shape that we're going to talk about today is the shape called the sphere. Now the shape of a sphere is something, boys and girls, that we sometimes see almost every single day. Now we might not call it a sphere, we might call it a basketball, or maybe a soccer ball, or maybe a bouncy ball. But boys and girls, a sphere is a three-dimensional shape just like this shape that Mr. Riley has in his hand, that is solid, it means I can hold it, I can squeeze it, I might even be able to bounce it, but this sphere, boys and girls, is a three-dimensional solid shape. Now, we talked about different ways to describe solid shapes. One of those ways was to describe their sides. Now, when we're describing a solid shape, we don't say sides, they have special math words. The sides of a three-dimensional shape are flat, usually. And they are called faces. So the flat part of a three-dimensional shape is called a face. So if we look at this round, rolly sphere, are there any flat sides to a round, rolly sphere? No, there aren't any flat sides to a round, rolly sphere. So a sphere has zero faces. Now, another way to look at a sphere, and we talked about this before, if we set a sphere, maybe on a book or a flat surface, oh, 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 it rolls. It doesn't stay in place. Oh, so your sphere, boys and girls, rolls. Now, you know what else is kind of cool about a sphere? Is it's different shapes. So you might have a small sphere, or you might have, oh, a big sphere. Oh, come on. Like a basketball. They're different sizes. But watch. They both bounce. So different ways to describe a cool sphere, guys. So a sphere has zero faces. A sphere rolls. And it might even bounce. So I want you guys to do this for Mr. Riley, if you could. I don't want you to juggle. I want you to see if you can go find some spheres around your house. You know what else is kind of cool? Is you can make a sphere. Find that small, small container of Play-Doh. And I want you to see if you can make a sphere with your Play-Doh. Okay? So, maybe you can make it, maybe you can find it, but mathematicians, I want you to search for five. How many? Five different spheres around your house. Okay, boys and girls? And describe those different details and different parts of those spheres to your moms and dads or your brothers and sisters. Okay? All right, boys and girls, so I hope you had a good time at math and get out there and find some of those three-dimensional shapes. Adios.